Well, now that it's charged, you're welcome to the daily use. It's basically where I show you what a day in a life with an item is like. Today is the M1 Mac 16 inch MacBook Pro. And is it overkill? <laughs> Hands down, yes. But we're gonna give it a shot and see how that goes. Just to let you guys know, I have the 32 GPU, 10 CPU, and 32 gigs unified RAM. It hurt my pockets, but let's see how that goes. So let's check it out. On the other hand, I also want to do some like Instagram like photos. I, I don't post on my social media that much, I realize. Whoops. <sighs> but I guess that, that's all falls on me. No one else, but it is what it is. But let's get through it and see what it does. Or see how it goes. Alright, <clears throat> so don't get me wrong. I know I had bought the 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro and even though that is a beast of a computer, the unfortunate truth is the M1 chip came out and the M1 chip basically destroyed my 16 inch. So I said, all right, I'll return that. And then when the new M1 chips come out in a 16 form factor, then that'll be for me. And it, it took a minute, but it came. And I jumped the gun and now we are just basically gonna see how that goes and how that fluctuates. But yes, do I still recommend the 2019 16 inch? Depending. If you could get it very cheap, go for it. You know, especially if you're very Intel based because the M1 chips, not everything is optimized. Don't get me wrong, Rosetta does help, but it, it, it's certain ones are buggy. But if you can afford the new M1 Max, then I mean, why not? Might as well future-proof yourself. Something that'll last you a couple of years. Yeah, I think you should be good. Regardless, I got a lot of things that I need to do today. So we're going to start off with getting food. I have to take the kids' Christmas photos. And then use that bad boy of a computer back there and see how it holds up. And I'm hoping it holds up well because, Jesus Christ, was it expensive. Oh... You know what it, it's like i took out a mortgage for it yeah, it's just it, it's it's rough it's rough but anyways i'm gonna bring you along i know it's been a while love you while i'm packing this bad boy up one of the new features or better yet old is that the hdmi a thunderbolt 4 and an sd card reader are pretty much back as well as magsafe two more thunderbolt 4 and a headphone jack a good addition that they brought back or adding one of the two. Regardless, we are on our way out. And I don't know what else to say. Bing bong. On our way to Sonic, I'm, I'm hoping I can get some um, photos to at least, you know, liven up my, my Instagram page that's been dry for three years and six days and four summers seven winters i have no friends point blank is let's see what i can get um i'm hoping to get the sunset if it comes up use the new iphone 13 see how it goes no no plug Just putting it out there no, i'm that guy <laughs> i think this is the photo that i'm gonna go with it's nice the contrast looks good and now we're just gonna go ahead and try to airdrop it into this and see how it goes all right okay so I've been editing that photo right now on Lightroom, which is actually optimized for the N1 chip and it, it was pretty smooth. I don't know if you guys are able to see it, but basically I was able to airdrop that photo, which then ended up going from, let's see if it'll freaking work, from that, which is how we got it, to that, which is, you know, more contrast. Nothing major, nothing crazy, but not enough, you know what I mean? And yeah. It's pretty cool. It's nice how the Apple ecosystem works smooth with each other. And the reason I said it is because I wasn't using AirDrop when it came to my 2013 MacBook and I returned my 2019 16. So that 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 didn't even get the chance. But this is pretty cool. Yeah, I'll update you as the day goes. Airdropping it from the computer to this was actually very, very easy. Now we just hit Add to my story and boom. Which, by the way, if you want to go ahead and uh, hit me with that follow, you uh, you can. All right, just saying. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into editing the first half of all this and see how that goes. Um, I'll update you with the results. As of now, this battery hasn't even been hit at all. It's been stable, clean, and all that loveliness. Now, something I do wanna point out is they got rid of the touch bar. There is no longer a touch bar instead of actual physical buttons which is convenient um because i know the touch bar had a little bit of an issue of it where it would freeze or not work in certain areas um me personally when i was using the 16 inch it didn't give me that much of a problem but yeah i'm gonna keep testing this and see what i think about it at the end of the video i'll give you what i think it's appropriate or at least what i think of it and and yeah we'll go we'll go based off of that cool i'll see you guys in a bit future me here um let me make this clear i've so far been editing from the beginning of the video to up to this point and i haven't ran into any form of hiccups it's been smooth it's been rather incredible if you ask me which is great because in my in my previous macbook which i used to use the 2015 i edit a lot it stuttered in certain areas especially when it came to color grading and like stabilization other than that i mean it's been oh man it's been great right now but it's smooth in both stabilization and color correction and then what what i like about it is because of how slow my 2013 computer ran i edit on my gaming pc which is in the other room I'm in my daughter's room right now. Um, in my other room, and that one, it, it, it would run smooth and all that stuff. But this, being able to withstand what my gaming PC could do, and I could take this with me, it's definitely something completely different. Like, on a, it, it's on a different level. Something that I didn't know would make a big impact would be the ports so for example um when i was using the 26 to 2019 16 inch i had a dongle at least for the time that i had it before i returned it with this just being able to pop in the sd card being able to just plug in my um ssd and then if i really wanted to work off of something in hdmi it just makes the workflow so much simple than you know than having to open up your book bag take out a dongle connect the dongle and then hope that everything works fine it, it it saves time and i guess that that's what i'm trying to say is that if it makes everything more simple then it makes editing fun right because then you're not going oh man i have to edit but in order to edit i have to go get this and it just all that overcome of thoughts goes away the other benefit that i am seeing is the screen the the, the screen is like beautiful so color correcting getting the colors correct and making it look great it, it, it's so simple with this screen compared to what i was using but now let's say hypothetically speaking oh i would like a second monitor to just be able to edit more and make everything more smooth simple in hdmi boom ports amazing battery life in the time that i've been editing this whole thing i went from i want to say 90 percent to about what what am i right now and that's, mind you, that's me using it since yesterday. So I'm at 67%. That's watching videos, um, picking out music, editing, and Lightroom. It's, it's wonderful. I haven't had any issues with it as of now. I know there's an ongoing issue where apparently if the computer shut off, it won't charge. I haven't tried it with mine since I haven't shut mine off, but from my understanding, that's a software problem, which should be fixed within the next software update. Fans, I don't hear them. Does it get warm? Very slight, and that's only when it's on my lap, because I've been editing like on the, the couch, but the fans never kicked on. The, the heat wasn't anything out of this world, to be completely honest. I would have thought it was just my own body heat that's probably made it warm. But it's, it's been awesome. It's been really great, to be completely honest with you. Um, so let's talk about what I got. 
So obviously I have the 16 inch MacBook Pro. I have the M1 Max 32 gigs GPU, 10 gigs CPU, 32 gigs unified RAM. Is that definitely overkill? Like I said earlier, yeah. It, it, my workflow is in 4K yet. I'm doing. I'm still doing 1080p. The reason I went this is simply because when I do upgrade, which I intend on getting the Sony A7 Mark III, I want to make sure I'm future proof for that. So I know this is this is gonna last me, I would say, five plus years. So I'm not worried about that. It's an investment on me. Um. And I think, I think it's totally worth it. I feel like a lot of people go, hey, the M1 Pro is more than enough. And that, that that's true. The M1 Pro, I'm sure, is gonna be, if you're still doing 1080p, it, it'll meet your standards. But if you're someone like me that likes to future-proof yourself and make sure you're at least good for X amount of time, hands down, get this beast of a laptop. Like, I was excited for the 2019, but this, this, this blew me away. Okay, I want to talk about the notch. Is it going to be there? Yeah, I can notice it. My background is very live. You, you can notice it hands down. It happens. If you have an iPhone 10 and above, you're used to the notch. So that, that doesn't even bother me. And then when you're watching, let's say you're on Netflix watching something, you don't even notice it, to be completely honest with you. It's, it's there. And the only reason I think it's there, it's because probably the next iteration of this new MacBook Pro, it'll have Face ID, which would be freaking insane. Um, Touch ID is there. Touch ID is great. I never use Touch ID besides on the iPhone, so this is great. Um, no Touch Bar, that's fine. The F keys are really good, responsive. You don't have to worry of them freezing or anything like that. Trackpad, shoot, it's Mac, boy. That, that that ain't changing. Um, and yeah, I think it's great. And then, hey, in the beginning, I was charging it. I could tell you, thirty minutes, fifty percent battery life happens. That's game changer. I'm talking about you're going hard editing. You finish, you go. Oh my God, I'm at ten percent, and I gotta go in an hour. Plug it in. You know that. In that hour, you're at least 50% or more, which will last you doing normal things like emails, videos, things like that will last you hours. Trust me. It's wonderful. Anyways, guys, if you like this, I will do more with different items. I kind of want to do it with tech. Um, I do want to do unboxings and reviews more. So if, if this is something that actually intrigued you and you liked it, please, Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'm Jason, and I'm heading out, yo. Take it easy. My hair was horrible today. That's why I got the hat. It's okay. Such is life. Bye.